I think it's really interesting when you go through things in your life and you get to a point where you've been so alone for so long that you're like, it's miserable. It's so miserable to be alone. But if you can embrace the misery and work through it and realize that my misery chapter of my life is going to get better because I'm going to get the things that I heart my heart's desire is and my heart's desire is to have the family that I never had growing up so I never had a good family dynamic I am not close with my parents I am not close with my siblings I'm not close with any of my family members um and I would love to be close with them but part of it is they never allowed me to or they judged me for things I've done or do or whatever and I got to a point where I prefer to isolate by myself and work and make money and be alone from a totally different like aspect of I want to work make money build my dream because I have little dreams I have big dreams and I have ginormous dreams so that's the whole purpose of my channel is you can watch me grow as an individual and if you want to be a part of my journey you can join me and that's the whole beauty of this is realizing that I live in this structure and it's a piece of crap but it beats living on the street being legit wet in the rain right now because it's raining so if I wasn't in this structure I would be outside wet so you have to realize that somebody always has it worse than you somebody always has it better than you but that's the beauty of it too is realizing that you're gonna achieve your goal because you're working towards it a little bit at a time Sometimes it gets discouraging because you're like, hey, I'm not there yet. I'm this old. I want to be there. But what you got to realize is at the end of the day, you're going to achieve your goal. And then you're going to be like, huh, that wasn't that difficult. I made it more difficult because I complicated it. Like, it's really simple. Like, I could build the tiny house that I want. I'm just complicating it for whatever the rationale is on that. And it's just so interesting and it makes you realize how dumb some things really are because you want something so bad and you're so scared that you don't accomplish it. And it's kind of dumb, it's kind of foolish if you think about it. So you need to do things that scare you even if they take time and you're like, I don't wanna wait another year for this. But you never know. Next month could be different. You could have something that you've been working towards. And that's the beauty of it. Is realizing that you can have that goal. Because there's stuff that you've been working on. And the universe is helping you. Because I went to a worship, um, a worship thing last night. And... I'm not anti-God, I'm not anti-Christ, but what I have realized is a lot of the religious aspects of things are fear-based. Like you're scared to die because you're gonna be alone, you're gonna have nobody around you, you're gonna spend um, all this time in eternity alone, like yada, yada, yada. Like it's all fear-based. And that's the biggest problem I have with certain religions is they're so fear based but if you're not afraid like if I went today I'm not afraid like if I was driving down the road and somebody just clipped me and I didn't make it it's not the end of the world because I haven't achieved all my dreams but 
that doesn't mean that I haven't had a good life. So when people start telling you that you need to do something and it's all based on fear, it's kind of stupid because fear doesn't do anything for you. You have to realize that if you want to do something, do it. And if it doesn't happen right away, there's a process for that. There's a process for everything.